Hey guys, come join me, sellers. We are going to be talking about why your home isn't selling. Always a tough conversation, but let's just dive right in. Okay, if maybe you are thinking about selling, these are just some things to keep in mind beforehand so you don't have issues. Maybe you had your home on the market and it didn't sell, or maybe it's sitting there right now, you're not getting a lot of viewings and you're wondering what's going on. So the easiest thing is to just blame your agent and it could be your agent, not saying that's not possible, but a lot of times it's something else. So let's talk about it. So number one, guys, is price. And I know it's kind of funny because we always go, you know, talk to sellers, what do you think about your home? What updates have you done? You know, how would you rank your home from one to 10? Everyone thinks their home is a 10. Absolutely everybody. Um, I always say, if your home's a 10, why are you moving? Um, obviously there is stuff you would always do to your house if you were staying. So you need to look at those things and really, really listen to your agent about price. A lot of times if you are multi um, interviewing multiple agents, you will get different price points from all of them. And the tendency we all have is to go with that agent who says they can get us the most money. And a lot of times we call that buying the listing. So the agent comes in and says, you're going to get a lot more than all the other agents. And they're doing that so that they get the listing and then they're going to beat you up to lower that price every single week because they knew you weren't going to get that price, but they wanted their sign out there. They wanted their name on it. They wanted to get additional buyers. So if you are interviewing multiple agents, really look at them, look at the comps they're pulling and find out, you know, why are these guy saying it's worth so much less than this agent and that might may be why okay so price if you are currently on the market call up your agent see what other homes have come on the market maybe you know one came on down the street priced way below you now and you're competing with them it's very difficult to kind of step away it's your home it's personal but it the buyers don't have that personal feeling that you do. So they're looking at it objectively. Um, so price is the biggest one. It's the biggest one that you can control as well. Now marketing. Um, obviously there are some agents that put the sign in the yard, put it in the MLS and they're on to the next client. Um, are they doing open houses? And if you don't even believe in open houses, are they doing other things? Are they getting, you know, postcards out to the neighborhood? Are they doing social media ads? Are they getting your home in front of people on CNN and ABC? Do they know how to do all of that stuff? Um, are they doing video? Are they doing walkthroughs? Do they have stuff up on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook? And a lot of agents don't know how to do this stuff. Um, but it, set your home apart. So find out what marketing they are doing. If you know they're not doing something and you want them to, ask them, you know, tell them, hey, I see other agents marketing like this. Can we get this done? Um, there are some things that don't work and maybe your agent's not doing them because of that. Newspaper ads, guys, really not working anymore. Magazine ads, same thing. Print, you know what, we can get you in front of a lot more eyeballs with online advertising. We need professional photos. We need professional video, all of that. So look at that stuff, it might be marketing. Okay, now there are some things that you can change that might be affecting whether your home is selling or not. And there are some things that you can't change. So let's talk about the things you can change. Odors, maybe you have stained carpeting. Maybe you have tons of outdated wallpaper. Maybe you just haven't done the bathroom, the kitchen updates, all of that stuff. All of that is stuff that you can change, obviously. Um, will it be worth the money to do that? Or would it be better to lower the price to attract a buyer that would come in and do those things themselves in the styles that they want? So that is a discussion that you need to have. If you are getting feedback about these things, you need to address them either by doing it or lowering the price. Um, if you're just not getting showings and so you haven't gotten any feedback, um, it's probably definitely price to begin with. Lower it, see if you start getting showings, all of that. My general rule in this area for my clients is we need to be seeing at least 10 showings in the first two to three weeks, depending on neighborhood and price points. Um, if we're not getting that, then it is likely price. Okay, we need to lower it and see what happens from there. If we are getting showings, 
all those showings or even more and we're not getting an offer and the feedback is generally good, everyone loves the house, then it's probably priced as well. Um, so those are just kind of guidelines. So outdated, maybe you have too much stuff, maybe you need to start packing, clear out the closets, make sure they're you know two thirds or less full, that type of stuff, okay? Things that you can't change, location, um, maybe you have a steep graded lot or a driveway, um, stuff like that, you're gonna have, the only thing you can change about it is the price. Um, so if those things are affecting the sale, you need to find that price where you're getting buyers in who don't mind that. Um, it could also be marketing. So if you have a home that doesn't have a garage, you know, you might need to market in a different way. Or maybe you have a home that has something special like an airplane hanger. <laughs> um, you need to adjust marketing on that end to attract those types of clients. Um, lot issues, steep, uh, we just showed a house the other day where the house could have been great, they could have flipped it, um, but the neighborhood they had to drive through, gonna be very hard to market for a buyer in the price range that they wanted to get the house up to because of who they had to drive by. Nothing you can do about that except price to get someone out there willing to pay that much for a house that will drive through that neighborhood. So it's just going to be a lower price point. Those are things that you cannot control except by price, okay? Some things, um, you know, maybe you have an odd floor plan. Again, you're probably just gonna have to see and hit that right price point to attract a buyer. So those are the things you can't always control. So if you are thinking about putting your home on the market, I would love to come by and tell you what I think the value is, um, give you some feedback on anything you might need to do in your home. It's always a very difficult conversation, but if you can handle someone being honest with you, I would love to discuss selling your home. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will see you next week. Bye guys.